Top 10 Poorest Country in Asia Number 10, Myanmar. Myanmar has not had a particularly easy history. This country has entered the current world after nearly 200 years of occupation, war, and civil conflict. It should come as no surprise that this has significantly reduced the number of educated workers in the country. The economy has also been difficult. Many farmers have had no cash crop since the prohibition of poppy plants, and the economy is based largely on exporting natural gas to neighboring countries. Number 9. Timor Leste. Timor Leste is a Southeast Asian country. Unfortunately, poverty rates remain high here. More than 40% of the population is poor, and roughly two-thirds are poorly food insecure. The country is also exposed to natural disasters such as droughts, soil erosion, storms, floods, and forest fires. The problem has also been exacerbated by a lack of economic infrastructure. Number 8. Pakistan. Here more than a quarter of the population lives in poverty. Indeed, it recently increased from 4.4% to 5.4% as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, which caused the economy to collapse so badly. Severing affects approximately 40% of Pakistani families. The majority of the population is illiterate and lives in economic hardship. To make matters worse, environmental issues such as deforestation and erosion had already been added to the problems. Unemployment is also a problem that increased from 5.8% in 2017 to 6.9% in 2019. Number 7. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is a traditional country with a traditional way of life. Agriculture accounts for nearly one-third of GDP, and forestry is also a significant economic factor. Because the irrigation systems have been in a bad condition for over a decade, this could lead to a crisis in the future. As a former Soviet Union member, the central government retains control over small mining enterprises throughout the country, even as the country transitions to a free market economy. Number 6. Nepal. Even before the 2015 earthquake disaster, Nepal was a place where health and poverty were major concerns. Over 40% of the population stays on less than $2 per day, and nearly one-third of homes lack modern sanitation, such as toilets. 70% of the citizens work in agriculture, with garment industries and tourism, accounting for a sizable portion of the remaining workforce. Number 5. Syria. It is estimated that 90% of Syrians live in poverty. Not only that, but people are skipping meals and eating less. Unemployment is a major issue in the country. Many businesses and industries have closed due to inflation. In fact, more than half of the labor force is currently unemployed. This has a knock-on effect on economic security. Not to mention that 50% of Syrian children do not attend school and do not have consistent access to education, they will be trapped in a cycle of poverty. Number 4. Tajikistan. It is a country with a rich cultural history, but not always wealthy in terms of liquid assets. Tajikistan is still recovering from a civil war that lasted nearly 10 years, as well as the 2008 economic crisis, the country is expected to enter a conflict with ISIS. Despite this threat, the economy has been steadily improving as it constructs infrastructure to extract valuable metals and move forward as a transition economy. Number 3. Yemen. Despite the fact that security concerns have consistently diverted a large number of tourists to other destinations such as the United Arab Emirates, nearly half of Yemen's workforce is employed in service and tourism jobs. To make matters worse, political violence has recently increased, causing even more uncertainty in the region's security and economy. Number 2. North Korea. North Korea is often seen as the darling child of poverty. The average citizen earns less than $15 per week. This, of course, means that a large number of citizens face inconsistent paychecks as a result of government crackdowns and the unavoidable need to pay bribes in order to survive. In North Korea's defense, they have a public food distribution system that reportedly feeds 70% of the country when famines aren't present. 
While the situation is dire at the moment, it is believed that there is an abundance of metal resources. The value of these metals is estimated to be between $4 trillion and $6 trillion, with adequate infrastructure. Number 1. Afghanistan. Afghanistan is unsurprising at the top of this list, after decades of being a war-torn country. Afghanistan's economy, like many others on this list, is based on agriculture, despite the fact that only 6% of the country's land has been proven usable. While animal husbandry was once a major economic factor of this nation, incursions of Iranian and Pakistani refugees in the early 2000s wiped out up to 80% of domestically useful species. The country's future is bleak, as the entire region is once again confronted with a major terrorist threat that will slow growth and development 